Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out the new Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. So if you want to see how this concealer works, then just keep watching. Okay, so I got this concealer in the store in Sephora and I actually bought it and came home because I had never seen it before and so I wondered if it was new and it actually wasn't supposed to be released until I think January 4th but my store had it out already. So I went ahead and bought it. So it is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Let me just pop it out. This is what it looks like. It actually just looks like a small version of the liquid foundation, which I have. So here is ooh, the foundation, the same like weird shape. This has the same weird shape, but I really actually like it. It's plastic, like this is glass. And this one though is plastic, it feels like. But very, very similar. So it retails for $34 just on Sephora's website. It has 0.2 ounce, 0.2, uh, it has 0.2 fluid ounces. Is that standard? Um, let's grab some. What's ColourPop's, does it say? ColourPop is 0.1706 ounce, which I know ColourPop, I feel like goes by fast for me. What's this e.l.f. one? Doesn't say. Okay, what about Milani's? Milani is 0.17 fluid ounce. So it seems like this one actually has a little bit more than most of the other ones. All right, what, does, what are the claims? Let's see. So it's supposed to be full coverage. It's supposed to be a natural finish. Um, so it says a full coverage weightless and waterproof concealer with microspherical powders that blurs and brightens up for up to 16 hours of skin perfection. It says it's for dry, normal combination and oily. It's supposed to be crease resistant, light reflecting liquid concealer, blends seamlessly into skin and diffuses the look of pores and fine lines, highly pigmented formula, even skin tone to conceal the appearance of dark circles, blemishes and other imperfections for a smooth, natural and airbrushed finish. Gosh, that was a lot to read. It is cruelty free and vegan. I think that's all it says. Let's see how many shades they have. 22 shades on Sephora's website. So I think I have the lightest shade, which is Birch. So I'm pretty sure I have the lightest, which it says it's considered fair with neutral undertones. I got this one because the yellow one, which is what I typically should get, just seemed too yellow. Like sometimes when you're very fair, too yellow isn't good. So I got the neutral one. And honestly, it's still too dark for me. However, I have a darker-ish foundation on, so this should work fine. Um, trying to decide how we should do this. Let's do it where I'm going to use a sponge on one side and then a brush to blend it out on the other side to see if it makes a difference. I did wear this the other day and I tried it with a loose powder on one side and then I actually used the hourglass ambient shades up here to set the other side and I didn't notice much of a difference. So I think today I'm just gonna use a loose powder on both sides. Am I in focus? There I am. Okay. Um, it did say waterproof. I don't agree with that. I cried the other day. You could definitely tell. So. Let's go ahead and just apply it. This is what the wand looks like. It's kind of different for a concealer. So, see it looks fine with this foundation, but my normal foundations that are my normal shade, it's too dark. I think I'm actually gonna put concealer in other places today. I don't normally, but why not? Okay, does this smell? It does, I thought something smelled the other day. Oh, it smells not good. It's really subtle, but it stinks. 
but it's subtle enough that it doesn't bug me but I thought yesterday when I was applying it that maybe it was my brush but I had already put this away so no it's definitely this but it's subtle enough that it's it doesn't bug me. All right, I'm gonna get my powder ready while I let that sit for a second. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and Translucent. In case you're curious, I ran out of my good stuff. That's all right, this doesn't work too bad. It just might change my color. I think I'm just gonna use a sponge on all the other parts of my face that I applied the concealer. I think it dried fast. Oh no. There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna do this side with the sponge, bring it onto my lid. Thank you for making noise, audience. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not like you can stop that. So here is the sponge side. I'm gonna go ahead and set it real quick, which let's pounce this out. I have so many creases. Like, look at my eye. Can you see them all? So gross. <laughs> and set it. Okay. Now for the other side, I'm going to go in with a e.l.f. brush. It's a highlight and define brush, so it's both sides. I like to use the flat side to just kind of lightly tap out the edge. See, it stinks. And I keep thinking it's the brushes, but it's not. It's the concealer. And then I use the other side to get closer. It's definitely pretty full coverage. I mean, like, you saw how much pigment my eye had. And I'm mostly just tapping. I'm not really swiping. That way we don't really move the product okay well I never noticed this eye just has more creases than this eye I don't really get up close and personal with my under eyes very often that should be good so before I set it this is what this side looks like I feel like personally I can see a little of my redness coming through but Still pretty, pretty good on the coverage. So let me bend this out a little bit more and then I'll set it. So let me show you, whoo, ow. Let me show you what it looks like with powder. So it's looking pretty dry, but honestly, that's just my eyes. Oh, there's an eye boogie, gross. Oh, it's so hard to get an eye boogie once you have makeup on. Okay, so here's my under eyes right now as soon as I set it. Honestly, for me, this is pretty standard. I wouldn't say there's anything special about it so far. I mean, I do like the coverage, but this is my normal creasing. Like, and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before. If you have creasing, a concealer is not going to magically take it away. You just don't want it to over accentuate what you already have there. So I think so far for me... This looks fine. So I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of my makeup, actually film another video, and then I'll come right back to show you once my makeup's complete, and then I'll also show you at the end of the day. Okay, so I have my makeup completed, so I'm going to come closer just so you can see. Wow, my hands do not match my face. <laughs> uh, just so you can see what my under eyes look like immediately. So I have had it on for about an hour now. So this is what they look like. Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice that happened. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so this is what they look like. They actually look pretty much the same. It's only been an hour, but I would say I have the same amount of creasing that I always have. This pigment's still there. Yeah, so far, so good. So, it is currently 2.30. And like I said, this has been on for an hour, so it was on at 1.30. So I will come back at the end of the day and let you know what it looks like. So it is now 9 o'clock. Oh, oh, come on. No? Not going to do it? Not going to do it. It's 9.08. So I'm too tired <laughs> to put my backdrop up. So you get this. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. It's been on for about... 
eight-ish hours, so a typical work day for me. So, let's look at it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, I definitely have a little more creasing than I did at the very beginning. I'm trying to open a mirror, sorry. So I would definitely say there's more creasing further down here than there was to begin with. Same thing right here. Um, yeah. It's also looking kind of more dry than normal. Honestly though, I'm thinking it was the powder that I used because when I tried this before, I used the powder I use pretty much daily, which is the Maybelline Fit Me, and then I used the Hourglass Ambient Rating on the other side, or Ambient Lighting on the other side, like I said earlier, and it didn't look this dry. Like, I still had the creasing like there is now, but it didn't look as dry. So I'm thinking the dryness had to do with the powder. I'm just out of my Maybelline Fit Me, which is what I pretty much use daily. That's why I use this because it's not too much of a difference, but I think it's obviously a difference. Um, but honestly, for my dry, 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 dry skin, this isn't really that bad. Um, one thing I wanted to note that I forgot to mention earlier is that this is pretty full coverage like you saw, but it's actually not very heavy, it's not thick, it's actually pretty lightweight. To me it feels like my more medium coverage ones where they're, obviously it's makeup and if you're not accustomed to wearing makeup you're going to feel it, but it's not something really thick that just feels like it's weighing you down. I definitely did not feel that with this. Honestly for me, and I know in the camera it might look bad to you, but because I'm accustomed to seeing this daily to me this actually looks pretty good for eight hours which might be sad and saying i need to work on skincare a little bit more but honestly i actually really like this um trying to decide if i think it's worth the price do i think it's worth the price do i think it's worth the price i can't decide um no no I think with my ColourPop concealer, I think I can get close to the same results. And I think that's like $8 maybe? I don't remember the price of that. Um, but I will tell you I don't get the kind of coverage. I can probably build up my ColourPop to get close to this coverage, but I don't think I get as good a coverage. So I do think it's actually a really good product if you can afford to spend the money to spend the $34. I think it is a good product. Definitely was nice with the coverage, but still lightweight feeling. And with my really, really dry skin, for someone who absolutely does nothing with skincare and really, really should, um, I think it's actually really good. I think it would be interesting to try it without setting it. I don't know how well it would do though. But yeah, overall I think it's a really good product. This is bugging me. My chin is like rubbed off. Um, but overall I think it's a pretty good product. If you can afford it, I would do it. If $34 seems too steep for you, ColourPop's great. <laughs> I'm just saying. So yeah, if you can afford it, definitely think it's worth it. But if you can't afford it, there's alternatives that get close to this coverage. So yeah, that is all I have for this video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.